related to the election and the Jubilee Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni now claims there was massive voter bribery in Mount Kenya during the just concluded general election. Kioni, while terming the entire exercise a sham, said they have sworn affidavits that will be presented to the Supreme Court during the hearing of Azimio's presidential election petition. After suffering a huge defeat in the just concluded general election, Jubilee Party led by Party Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni now claims there was a vote rigging in favor of the arrival UDA in the Mount Kenya constituencies. What happened within Mount Kenya was massive, massive rigging. And the rigging was done not by the employment of one scheme, but multiple schemes. Kioni has accused UDA party of colluding with IABC officials to rig elections in different constituencies in Mount Kenya region. People we were having us to apply and perhaps be recruited as uh, RLOs and deputy RLOs were locked out. We were duped because he gazetted more than a week earlier of the people he wanted to recruit a predetermined outcome. The Jubilee Secretary General also said that there was mishandling of Azimio agents by presiding officer in the region. Our Jubilee agents were denied access and also the Azimio agents within Mount Kenya. All of them were given the same answer. Your letter is not stamped. And by the time we intervened to get the letters, to get them admitted into the polling stations, it was 10. Some places it went all the way to after midday and even at two, and some places they went completely without putting agents. Kioni says they will now incorporate the evidence with Raila Odinga's presidential petition that is current at the Supreme Court. Kidaoli Primary School opened for voting at 6 p.m., not a.m., 6 p.m. Gioni, just in case you are confusing. And then they left the station open for people to vote until midnight.